at Menard. I'm at the corner of Kingston Road and Old Kingston Road. Kingston Road and Old Kingston Road. I'm traveling with uh, my friend. We are in front of the Grand Motel. We got pulled over by one of your officers. Uh, he was quite aggressive, I thought. And uh, when I tried to help him, uh, he's apparently conducting an investigation uh, and provide him with information. And uh, he ended up calling back up. We now have three police cars. We're people of peace, four police cars. We're like completely unarmed, completely peaceful people, and we're concerned for our own safety at this point in time. What's that? Yeah, we're stopped in front of the Grand Motel, and he wasn't happy with my friend. No, that's not me. That's my friend, and my friend is not, he's got his own political beliefs. Uh, I, I don't want to go into him. In any event, he has no intention of doing anything that would require such a level of, of, of aggression here, and he's only exercising his rights to travel from his perspective, and that's why. And he was told that he could be arrested if he didn't identify himself. I then have him on tape identifying himself properly and according to what's required according to the courts. And uh, then your officer got a little bit, uh, I don't know, he didn't like the fact that he didn't get to see the documents. I tried to confirm. According to the courts, uh, when dealing with a peace officer, providing our name, our date of birth as we know it, and whatever uh, our address is, is sufficient. Uh, and I'm not sure about whether or not he's operating under the Highway Traffic Act. My concern is that you guys know that, come what may, we're peaceful people. There's no, there's no need for any sort of intimidation or violence. Uh, I wanted to talk to the sergeant and make sure that... Can you put the parking brake on, please? Sorry? No. Hello? Why'd you call 911? Who called 911? What's that? Who called 911? You called 911. I'm here to help you. What do you need? Okay, well, I'm... What do you need? Answer I'm, my question. I'm concerned for need? my safety. Step out. I'm here to protect you. Step out of the car. Okay, thank you. I'm concerned you about your actions. I'm here to help you. Step out of the Sir, car. you have to see this man. He's banging on the window. He's acting all aggressively. Apparently, he's violent towards me. No, I... Thank you. I'm good. I'm talking to the officers now. I feel that I'm happy now. I'm going to be arrested for public mischief for calling 911 when there's emergency vehicles already answering. Step out of the vehicle, sir, right now. You are trying to arrest me? Are you arresting me? No, I'm telling you, step out of the vehicle. You called for assistance. We're here to assist you. Okay, are you going to arrest... Okay, this is going on YouTube. This is crazy. I called you guys because I'm scared that you guys are acting too aggressively. And now for calling you for assistance, that his excuse for coming after me. I'm videotaping and streaming all of this and uh, I have stood in court. I'm capable of standing in court and I myself am a duly sworn peace officer. Now this guy is banging on the window. He's going way out of control and I am scared for my safety. Now how about you send someone here who's reasonable who doesn't seem to be all I don't know, the guy's I'm very angry. Time. Sir, I don't know what your problem is. We're here to help you. You called 911. We are here to help you. Okay, how about this? Tell me how you need help, sir. You dialed 911. What is the emergency? My concern was that you guys... I can't see you. I need to see your hands. I want there is no emergency. There's been a miscommunication. Thank you. I'm talking to the police officers right now. You dialed 911? And does this mean you think you can come and intimidate me and attack me like this? You're scaring me, Ardobius. You're scaring me. I'm here to help you, sir. And it's good that you're scaring me, Please step away, sir. Please I'm step away. You, I don't require your assistance. Then why are you on the phone with 911? I'm talking. I'm not talking to 911. I'm, I'm talking to the head office of of your uh, your police department. I am not on the phone with 911. I I am on the phone with 416-808-4300. I'm on the phone with your front office, and you are attacking me. You're threatening me. You're intimidating me. Can I speak camera. to us? Yeah, you're on camera too. Oh, you? you're right Thank, there. You. Thank you. You, you know what? How about this? How about we just recognize we're all human beings. We deserve dignity. Let's act with peace. Let's recognize there's Rob, no need for violence. Rob, just tone it down for a minute if I can actually talk to you. Do you guy. need police assistance, sir? No, thank you. I don't require your services. Who dialed 911? I don't require your services. Thank you. I don't care about that anymore. I want to know who dialed 911. For what per Is dialing 911 against the law if one is feels for their safety? No. Is there an emergency? There was one in my mind What's when I called. Sir? There was one in my what mind when I called. Sir? The emergency is because armed men. 
Sir, I'm done talking to you. Bring me your supervisor. I'll talk to them. You're being overly aggressive and intimidating. And you're trying to get mad at me because I'm on the phone with 416-808-4300. You're a peace officer, are you not? Sir, did you dial 911? Have you observed me breach the peace? Yes or no, did sir? You dial 911. Have you observed me breach the peace? Did you dial 911? Sir? Have you observed me breach the We're peace? Here to protect you, sir. Thank you very much. I don't require your protection. Have a great day. Did you dial 911? Did you get all that? Cuz I did and it's going